Hi, my name is Patty Faye Schmidt, and when I heard about the Contemporary Art Center doing a, a project with Andy Warhol's work, I decided I wanted to enter this because he was a big influence in my life. And I felt like he brought so many celebrities' portraits into the public, but we all, we all know them by their faces, but we really don't know what they had to say about their fame. And so I put my project together with um, their quotes telling us how they felt about it. And um, you'll be surprised when you read what some of them say. My name's Don Hurwitz. Uh, my wife and I were in Venice and we just left the Peggy Guggenheim Museum of Contemporary Art. And we saw a store window with Andy Warhol's poster inside it. But the glass on the shop was reflecting the city around it. And I thought, even though Andy wasn't there, it was like he was looking at things and he could see Venice and he knew what was going on. I liked it. My name's Danielle Franklin and I'm not sure what really inspired me to do the piece. Uh, I ended up doing my um, wedding photo, so I guess that just says it all. I just wanted to take something that meant a lot to me and kind of put it on paper, I guess. But, yeah. Beth Austin, and um, I'm a local photographer. I live in Norfolk, and I normally go to shows and shoot bands. I also shoot people in the audience, and that particular piece I was shooting, a friend of mine was walking through a door, and someone was walking out at the same time, and she suddenly had to turn to stop herself from being hit by the door. It was a really cool, cool photograph, um, but the lighting was a little strange, so I had to save it somehow, so I tapped my inner Warhol and brought Deb out to play. I didn't want that piece to go away. It was a really cool shot, really spontaneous, so that's how it happened. My name is Mickey Wilkerson, and my piece is called Beauty, and it's just a piece that represents um, just everyday American, African American girl beauty. Hi, my name is Denise Baldwin, and the inspiration from my piece comes directly from my imagination. I prefer to work um, within the realms of my imagination versus real life. My name is Chelsea Bertolano, and I painted a piece of my cousin when he graduated the Marine boot camp. And the reason I painted it was I saw Andy Warhol's self-portrait of himself with a red background and blue, gray, and uh, black and white. And I thought that it was an intense portrait of himself, and I found the intensity of the portrait of the Marine similar and the fact that you couldn't have an intimate experience with the Andy Warhol piece made it that much more almost delectable. So I did the same thing with uh, my portrait. So when you are standing far away, you have this staunch gaze from this Marine and once you get up closer, you want to find out more about him and, and see what he's all about, but you can't. And it's because he's part of this large group, and he's part of many, that there is no intimate experience with them, it's just them. So the, the lack of intimacy, yet the, the glaring strength that he's got, um, that correlated with the Andy Warhol piece, is what inspired me to say that one. My name is Donna Warren, and the, uh, my son, the music, and the pop art culture kind of inspired the whole piece. My name is Bethany Markham Sowerman, and uh, my piece was actually an academic project, my first in Wire. But I am, of course, inspired by Andy Warhol in that everything and anything and everything is art. It's all in the perception. Hi, my name is Stacy Villacasius, and what inspired my piece was the love for my son. I've painted portraits of everyone in my family, and he was the last one left in the group, and here he is. His name is Chris. My name is Kevin Higgins. The inspiration behind my piece, first of all, my piece, my piece is called Captivity. The inspiration behind my piece was the, the ruins in New Orleans, the floods, because I took that picture in New Orleans, and I had a beautiful girl with the backdrop of the ruins and the results from the floods in New Orleans. Hi, my name is Ann McDowell, and this is a portrait of my granddaughter, Leah taken on her 18th birthday and three of us had been taking pictures of her and she was just kind of getting real bored with having a picture taken and I called her and she looked around and I got this photograph and 
decided to paint it. I love it. My name is Ellen Bybal. This portrait was inspired by my daughter who has taken ballet lessons and decided to enhance her outfit and I just wanted to capture her on the picture plane. My name is Michelle Oliver um, and this is my piece in tribute to Andy Warhol. I was inspired by his creativity, his unique look on contemporary art, and um, my daughter is the center of uh, focus of this artwork. Um, her playfulness, her creativity as well, and I wanted to capture the art there. Um, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to pay tribute to Willie Nelson and Andy Warhol. Thank you very much. My name is Myrene Moore Nicholson. I usually paint or try to exhibit under the name Moore. And the reason I'm particularly interested in the Warhol exhibit is um, in Andy Warhol's published diaries, he states that Mary Omaya, the man he was shot with, will be at the same party in New York City the next night. Amaya was the departing director of the Chrysler Museum, and he was at my house in Norfolk uh, for a New Year's Eve party until 4.30 a.m. that day. He uh, was the person that was so unlucky as to be with Andy Warhol in Valerie Solanas, a uh, malcontent uh, playwright, uh, came to Andy's office and Amaya was, was there, unluckily in a white suit, and she shot both Warhol and Amaya. And I, I often thought that uh, the wound, it has been said that the wound that Andy got from that shooting was the reason he passed away from the gallbladder operation because he, his system was, was weakened. My name is Christy Liddell and what has inspired me is Andy Warhol's uh, obsession with popular culture and us as consumers of popular culture and our need to be famous and in the spotlight. My name is Eric Mean and what inspired me is Einstein taking us from classical physics to quantum mechanics, love where it's going, and that was the inspiration for the work. And I'm dropping this off for my wife, Catherine, and she did this piece for our son who's graduating from University of Virginia tomorrow. And this, uh, it's called Unweathered and uh, Idealistic, <laughs> which is uh, what he is. Name is Mick Grahowski. I was inspired to paint this uh, Based on the fact that I grew up in the 60s and 70s and having seen a rivalry between the pop artists and perceiving it as a battle, and this is a depiction of that battle in the form of a paintball war with Andy reloading with tomato soup and Lichtenstein and Jackson Pollock returning fire. Hey, I'm Jill Tigerman and I live outside of Pittsburgh, born and raised, and so Andy Warhol is always in my world. And I am an art teacher as well. So this piece is inspired uh, with an old Marilyn Monroe from the 40s, one that's pretty rare, I'm not usually seen. And then my son ticking away, supposed to be, ticking away um, around her in a time warp fashion. Time marches on, time's on his side. I'm in my next stage of life, and that's my inspiration. My name is Amy Caldwell Rapp. And Van Gogh inspired me. He's one of my favorite artists. I always think it's so tragic that he wasn't recognized in his own lifetime. He got his 15 minutes of fame posthumously. My name is Martha Crawford, and this is a photograph of my granddaughter, Piper. And um, I was just playing around with it digitally, and I thought I'd push the color on it, and um, I really like the colors a lot. And then when I saw the opportunity for Andy, I thought, well, that's exactly what he kind of started was commercial art and I think that the digital photography portrays that perfectly and just the fact that um, I could send it to Walmart digitally and then have it done in one day and pick it up I thought that was pretty Andy Warhol. <laughs>